single thing you do. Hello, hola, bonjour, guten tag, I was like, gesundheit. How's everyone doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking, okay. So, today is the first day of this 31 days of Halloween that I am attempting to do. So, so basically, just a quick little rundown. All I'm doing is uh, makeup inspired by certain thriller or horror movies. As you can see, I don't have any glasses on. So I have context, which makes it easier to like, you know, apply makeup. Yeah, it's not gonna be nothing fancy, nothing like that. This is just stuff off the top of my mind that I got inspiration from movies. Um, inspiration such as like colors or, you know, stuff like that. So if I look over here, I'm looking at my mirror because I can't see myself. Unless I look over here. But, uh, yeah, so... If you enjoy any of these or want to recreate them, just let me know. Let me see. Because I don't want my link. So, let's just get into the first day. Well, you see I already got my eyebrows done. I'm always going to do my eyebrows first unless I put like, color in them. But I'm going to start with a brown transition color. This one is called Too Sexy. I have no idea who it's from. I've had it for a while. Uh, most of the, well, all of these things I have for a while. So, um, I'm not just have to go and buy makeup like every other day, but <laughs> just any brown will work. And my eyelid is really small, like the space between my eyelid and my uh, eyebrow is really small. So, we'll work with it. But I'm just lightly putting it right above, not my crease, but like. The hollow of my eye. <laughs> All I really just do is just kind of dust off the brush like on a towel or something <clears throat> just to get all the excess off and then just continue to blend. This is like I said just a transition color because I think you need those. Um, Today is Freddy Krueger inspired. Yay! Speaking of Freddy Krueger, that that movie wasn't really scary to me. I don't remember the first time. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me. So I'm just using this. What color is this? It's like a mixture of red and brown from just this random eyeshadow palette. Um, so it's this one right here. So any kind of burgundy or like, I guess burgundy color will work just fine. And I'm gonna put this right below that brown I put in. But anyway, back to Freddy Krueger. So, the movie didn't really scare me a lot or much. I don't know, it just, I watched it when I was younger too. And you know everything is scary when you're younger. Like I was scared of Monster House, which is also one of the inspired looks I'm going for. But I was scared of Monster House. There's, there's nothing scary about Monster House. But Freddy Krueger was not scary for me. Like, I know some people don't want to go to sleep after that movie when they were younger. I remember people talking about it. But for me, I was like, I love sleep. What do you, what do you mean? I tried to pack that color in to make it more opaque. Didn't really work. But, hey, it is what it is. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is put on a primer for the color on top. And I'm just using red lipstick because I'm going for a red look or partly red look. 
So this one specifically is from Makeup Forever. And it's just like a, a real matte pure red. So what I do is I just take my finger. I need to stop making faces. And just put some of the product on there. And just pack it just on the lid part. Next, I'm using this Shani Cosmetic Palette. It looks like this. And I'm using their red color right over here. And this flat brush that I got from my electric palette. So I'm just using a random brush that I already have. Um, it's like fluffy but flat. I'm just going to pack that on my eye. Oh, yes. <laughs> now I'm going to try and lower the intensity of this color or darken it rather because the inspiration is coming from Freddy, Freddy, Freddy Krueger's Freddy Krueger's shirt which was red and green but it's not no bright red you know bright green so we're gonna try to lower the intensity is that the word I'm looking for yes and I just keep going back and dip my my brush in there. I think the reason why I didn't think Freddy Krueger was scary was because of Edward Scissorhands. And I love that movie. And I guess they, they're they not similar, but they have similar characteristics as far as the hands. I'm gonna take this little, small little fluffy brush and it's clean. And just blend out the edges of the red. Oh yes. So I'm trying to blend as much as I can now. Just so I don't have to blend too much later on. Cause blending is a whole hole. Um, I try not to bring it up all the way. That way you can still see your transition color. Look at me using words like I know what I'm talking about. Did y'all like Freddy Krueger? Or were y'all scared of Freddy Krueger? I have to say, I have to say, uh, I can't talk. And back to what I was saying about lower, lowering the intensity of this red. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of winging it right now. So I guess going back into my shiny palette, I'll mix these two and just put it toward the inner and outer corners of my eye. Using the same brush that I used to blend. Y'all, I don't care. <laughs> Made like a little V with the product the black and brown mixture so i'm kind of blending it upwards and towards the center just to make everything even oh yes i need to stop saying that it's not a creep okay so far so good and now to incorporate the green i'm going to put color on my lower lash so i'm going to take a white this is an nyx Eyeliner. Wow, I, I didn't know what I was trying to say. And I'm going to line the bottom part of my eye. Not the not the waterline, but the skin underneath it. I just dip this brush in that green and just kind of pack the color on my lower lash. I kind of sweep it just because. I don't feel like I need to pack it on. And then to lower the intensity of this green, I'm using this color in this palette. It is kind of like a mixture between black and green. I don't think it's coming off that well on the camera, but it's like a very, very dark, dark green. Now this one I'm trying to pack in there because I don't want the green that I first put on top to move around. You see the difference? See how bright this is? See how like dark this is? That's what we're going for. And I'm going to take the black from my Shani palette with the same brush. I just used to pack on that darker green and just pack it on the outer corner. But I'm just gonna put a mascara. And the mascara I'm using is Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is probably my favorite eyelasher. 
eyelash. I'm using this green be bold um, mascara. So I'm just gonna put this on my bottom lash. Then for lips, I'm just gonna use this. Uh, it's called Chocolate Berries from Milani. So just a dark um, purpley brownish kind of color. By the way, this this Milani product, I'm guessing all the lipsticks from Milani, Milani, from Milna, Monopoly, um, Milana. I'm guessing all these products smell good. <coughs> it smells like the chapstick that used to have flavor to it that them bad kids used to bite and eat, like me. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is just clean off the fallout. So, I'll be black. Okay, so, fallout is cleaned, and this is the finished look. Now, quick little disclaimer, I'm not going to explain what I'm using in every video. Um, I'm just going to do my makeup and show you what the inspiration was it what was it the inspiration for it was so this was just like a test run i guess for the first first day and i mean it's okay but uh, i don't want to talk so um yeah so thank y'all for watching see you all next time stay blessed goodbye